you can see it on the side here. Oh yeah, it's totally kicking. Okay. Like, wait a second. It's right there. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow. As you may know, Tashi, our female greater one-horned rhino, is pregnant through artificial insemination. Uh, this is her fourth pregnancy now. The average gestation period for a uh, greater one-horned rhino is 485 days, so it's around 15 to 16 months. Uh, Tashi is currently close to 300 days in gestation. Dr. Monica Stoops from the Center of Conservation of Research in Endangered Wildlife came to Buffalo to do the artificial insemination. So I'm a reproductive physiologist at CRU, which is the Center for Conservation and Research of Endangered Wildlife, and that's located at the Cincinnati Zoo and Botanical Garden. Based on the species survival plan for the American Zoos and Aquarium Association, she was recommended to breed. And the male that she was recommended to breed with for this particular estrus cycle was a male that was located down in Miami Zoo. So he was a good genetic match for her. A common question that we have been getting is why we have done artificial insemination when we do have a adult male greater one horn at Buffalo. And since the Buffalo winters can be somewhat cold and rainy and, and not the best for natural breeding during the winter time, uh, the Buffalo Zoo is doing AI procedures during the winter and then during the warmer seasons when there's better weather, they're doing natural breeding. We did introduce George and Tashi together. George was SSP recommended to breed with Tashi. Uh, they did go together and everything went very smoothly and they did breed, um, but unfortunately Tashi never conceived. After 200 days in gestation, we can actually start the abdominal ultrasounds. Uh, Dr. Monica Stoops actually came back to Buffalo uh, to do another ultrasound and see how the calf is developing. Um, we were able to see some parts of the head on the ultrasound, which is really exciting. And uh, while they were performing the ultrasound, they did see the calf or feel the calf uh, kicking around in there. It's important that animals reproduce on a regular basis to keep them healthy, as well as maintain our captive populations so that they're most genetically viable. Currently the fetus is about the size of a small dog, um, but the calf really doesn't gain its size until about later gestation. When the calf is born, it should weigh anywhere between about 100 to 150 pounds. We do expect Tashi to give birth somewhere in the summer of 2019. As we get closer to Tashi's due date, we do start preparing for her giving birth. So we'll start putting cameras up in the barn so we can monitor Tashi. And then while she gives birth, uh, we'll start baby proofing the barn so we know, you know certain areas where the calf can't get out. And then we'll have nice soft wood chips on the floor so it's nice and soft both for mom and the calf. Stay tuned for updates as we get closer to Tashi's due date.